to die! Snap your spine! Picked up our trail. Hold on.
of these men of God. Festooned in gold and silver. It is enough to make one blind. We are blind of now. Lanius was our only king. He saw straight and fought alongside Arturius. We have been blind ever since. Picked up our trail. Hold on. mouth and die! We should return to camp before I let go and burn this heap to the ground. Going forward, I must take care. Read us with.
Dawn's crystal eye. It hums with a strange feeling. Unearthly. is upon us. A pity none of you will live to see it. Get the councilmen to safety. I will handle all of them. Go. Attack the king. Out. There is no escape. No future for people like you.
our fathers. Alfred needs to produce an heir. It's the duty of... That is enough.
¿Listo? Something for me. What is it? A letter requesting your presence in the southwest, a village called Athelny. Nothing strange about a summons for me, is there? It is not the recipient I find strange. It is the sender. The letter is signed a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Ah, our mysterious partner. For a short time, I hoped it might be Bassem feeding us the names of these targets. He seemed the most likely man, for a time. Only one way to discover the truth. Thank you, Hytham. I will take care of this. Yes, hello. I, I do not mean to intrude, but I am looking for someone. And who would that be then? I... I do not know exactly. Well, that would be why you ain't found him. But you're free to pass the time just here if you like. Thank you. your soul cakes love do you know soul cakes i do i enjoy them they're small things size of a lumpy fist so they'll bake fast keep your eyes sharp and the butter do i baste them no need love we leave the butter for meal time i look forward to it right then i'll leave you to this if you need me i'll be doing the washing up next door Quite a step down from your former work, Lord. 
As their guest, I volunteer to help with the daily chores. They offer me a bed. I tend the cakes. Do they not feel strange giving orders to their king? Or do they know? That knowledge would benefit no one. I read your message. You went through a great deal of trouble to obscure yourself as this poor soldier of Christ. As I remember, you even sent yourself one of these letters in Winchester. A clever touch. The Order wanted me dead. I had to be careful. You said you knew nothing about the Order then. Pled ignorance. But you knew everything. Their names. Their schemes. Would you join me for a walk? You look well, Eivor. The wars have ended, and my settlement thrives. The wars have not ended. You have simply stopped fighting. But men are brewing plots in mead halls and bedrooms. You will see. And how are you, Alfred? Getting used to the idea of being unremarkable? I am well. Better than I expected. In this exile, I have found a somewhat nourishing peace. Each morning, I am awakened by the sun and growling cormorants. I bathe in the chilly water of the marsh. I eat from shrubs and drink from buckets. It is a good life. Simple. Blessed. I've never been so far west. I find it quite peaceful here. Calming. I have traveled a long way to hear one name, Alfred. Who is the Order's Grand Magister? Tell your shadowy friends that England is swept clean. Your work is done. You? Grand Magister was not a title I desired. It passed to me on the death of my brother. From my father before him. Defilers of God's majesty and grandeur. I was their master, and I loathed them. With Goodwin, I set a plan in motion to destroy the Order from within. But my troubles with the Danes delayed that plan. But your trouble with this Dane was what led to their demise. You are Norse, are you not? You have a good ear. I owe you my thanks, Eivor. For that, I give you this. The key to my study. That you may better understand the good you have done. With the Order all but destroyed, you have made room for a greater idea. One to take its place. A universal divine order, inspired by God for the betterment of man. With a poor fellow soldier at its head. You have saved England, whether or not that was your intent. Now let England save you. England is no more, Lord. You are the last of her kings, and yet you have no kingdom. Look around you. God's works are wondrous. They cannot be ignored, nor resisted. In time, all those who accept God will flourish, and all those who defy him will fall away. Should you remain in England, you too will one day be her subject. Oh, bloody crumbs! The cakes are burned! Where is that man? Young man, where have you gone? Damn. That may have earned me a night of washing linens. I do not know if we shall meet again, Eivor. God willing, we will. As one lord to another, perhaps. I'm coming, my lady. I'm here. Alfred gave me a key to unlock his study somewhere in Winchester. Oh dear, oh dear, look at them little balls of soot. Good lady, forgive me, I was lost in thought. No matter, just let him cool and we'll begin again. Direct me and I will obey.